COVID has definitely taught me how to, you know, really do school in a, in a very different way. I think it's, it's prepared a lot of people for life, I think, the whole COVID experience has. And just tr having to deal with their own work and deal with big changes in, in their schedule and um, just everything about their life. Our students are really strong uh, and they adapt really well. The change I've seen in all of our students, but in particular the class of 2021, is that confidence uh, to come and ask for help, um, to, to, to uh, adapt to the changes that have been happening, and I, they've just done a really, really great job. I think the last month is bittersweet. I think they're, you know, they're kind of excited to be done and, and just feel like they're ready to move on toward their next steps of their future. But I think there's just this sense that they missed out on a lot of time with each other and things that they would have wanted to do that they didn't get to do. And so they're really looking forward to graduation. Well, graduation is always a big deal, but I think this year even more so for our senior class because that's going to be an opportunity where they can all be together uh, as a class. I feel kind of like time has gone by like this. I remember being in preschool and you know like it's like wow I'm graduating now like what's that it's crazy. It's definitely been one heck of experience for sure like I've grown a lot as a person. I love social interaction so I kind of like had to you know find out how to thrive without as much social interaction. I think one of the most significant ways that they've been able to accomplish that is uh, just through community. Uh, seeing our, our, our community rally together in these challenges and come up with different responses to these challenges and provide support for each other and, and cheer each other on in their successes and find things to celebrate um, is pretty amazing too. Obviously there's been lots of changes this year. We moved to a new campus. Um, we've also had to do all kinds of changes to how we do education. So instead of being in person, we had to do online learning. I think that that family, that sense of family and community that we have here, if you can even feel that over Zoom, then it must be real. I think that Buckingham has taught me to be kind to everyone that I come to meet, really get to understand people and see different perspectives but also it shaped me in knowing what exactly I want to do. They are so full of life and they love to learn things and what has been so heartening for me during the pandemic is that they've kept that same life. They've kept that same um, willingness to learn and try new things and being original and different. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the prayer. I never imagined when I started here at Buckingham nine years ago that tiny little 33 voice choir would become like all of this. I just couldn't be more proud. Mrs. Corey helped me find my love for Buckingham and really step out and want to give everything I can back to my school, you know? So thank you, Mrs. Corey, for helping me become a better version of myself. Hopefully it is interesting because it kind of put like it kind of put a dampener on that, all that, but we still managed to go out and make all these really awesome recordings, and we got, we still got to hang out a bit, and now we're back here, and uh, we get to perform in person, and it sounds awesome, even though we haven't seen each other for like the past, what are we at, a year-ish? However <laughs> long it's been, it's been a year. I got to meet some of my best friends, and I got to sing and experience what the choir family was, which is something that I've never had at school before. Even with COVID being here, we're still, we're still bonded, we're still a family. We're still the Buckingham Choir. We're still all of this, and I, as much as I miss um, things as they were, I'm glad we can still at least do this. I'm so good you guys. I joined the robotics team my freshman year and that really provided me with a good, close community. For a long time, we weren't able to meet at all. Uh, more recently, we've been able to meet in person, which is very cool. I think seeing our students uh, get to interact with each other, uh, out here playing basketball, in the classes, getting to see their teachers, there's a joy and a lightheartedness and an excitement that's here on campus, which is fun to be a part of. Since I've worked at Buckingham, our, our campus has been a parking lot and we made that home and loved it. But to have grass, like I can't tell you how many seniors have come up and been like, there's grass and, and uh, there's, there's, there's a campus and it's ours. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? Kind of because our old campus was kind of just a parking lot. And I was like, this is different. We were able to do an event at the beginning of the year where we welcomed students. They drove through, we handed out their beginning of year. Um, 
binders and expectations and it was just really exciting to see them. They were all like, okay, wait, where, how do I get here, right? 100 McClellan Street, where is that? What's cool about the new campus is I actually got to do a lot of the work, like all this, I built this. And then, you know, I got to just do a lot of campus beautification. I really love the community. It's really strong, tight-knit, everyone loves each other here. I'm sad that senior is wrapping up, but I am very optimistic looking into the future of going to college. COVID in particular has, has taught me how to deal with um, just unexpected changes in my life, um, which there will probably be a lot of, so I think that's a, a good thing.